Hi, it's John. I'm in the Abbey Gardens at Abingdon. And the robin is here again. He's out in the um, in that bed of primulas. Um, he's at the end there. It's always difficult to focus. Always difficult to focus in on things. Um, there he is. And one could. Oh, scared off by a pigeon. Oh, he's come right close now. One could sort of have a conspiracy theory that the the robins were sort of keeping an eye on you wherever you went. So they seem to be everywhere, especially at this time of year. It's a particularly nice one, this one. I was just at my father's house and uh, there was a very scruffy robin there. I'm a bit sorry for him. There's a security man down there or something. Just amazing how that green um, shows up. Fluorescent green. It's with, with the human eye. Whether it will show, show up somewhere with the... Oh, he's gone now on the camera I don't know but he's gone anyway so it spoils my theory oh no there he is maybe it's a policeman maybe there's a dead body in the river it's quite a well composed picture I'd say quite a well composed scene Queen Victoria is still here. Summer and winter she's here. Keeping an eye. I wonder what that white is on that uh, weeping willow. I'm not going to go down there and have a look. Looks pretty though. It's some sort of clematis, I think. Clematis tangutica, perhaps. There's the old abbey. Pity about that tree on the uh, left, it rather spoils the view. It looks like they've used parts of the old abbey in the um, gardens here on the inside the old doorway there and there's two other old doorways one there and one there and here's a sign where they imagine what the abbey would have been like and uh, it was done away with by Henry VIII No word, he did get into a paddy, didn't he? 1538, the abbot surrendered the abbey to Henry VIII. My goodness. The uh, destruction that um, that man caused. Right, bye for now.